Hey everybody, welcome to Thingamajigger Thursday here at Two Sagers, where I go over a unique or uncommon tool once a week. In today's episode, we're going to hold the giveaway for this week's tool, and then we'll go over and I'll explain what it's used for and other common tools. Then we'll take a quick sneak peek at next week's tool. Stick around, let's jump into it. All right, so we only had three entries this week. It was uh, Mr. Harley, Jen, and Raw Bacon. So one, two, and three, we'll throw them in here. Not looking. Who is it? Raw Bacon again. All right, congrats, Raw Bacon. This is your third time winning now. You know the drill, so uh, get with me and we'll, we'll get that panned out. And now let's take a closer look at these. All right, so we did have a couple correct answers and Raw Bacon nailed it right out of the gate with the actual name and model number too. This is a, a Calvan number 30, model number 35. Hopefully we can see that in there. But these are door clip remover pliers. All right, two different brands here. This one's a KD Tools, that's the Calvan. And they basically do the same thing as these style tools. And I, I did a video on these, uh, I don't know, a month or two ago, something like that. Now, these ones work a little bit different. I'll throw some photos up here because I actually don't have anything right on hand. Now, I did grab a couple handles. One's a door, not, or a door handle, and the other one is an actual uh, window handle, a crank handle. These are out of uh, a 67 Mustang. And this is just for demonstration purposes, so you can kind of get an idea of what we're talking about. And like I said, I'll throw the videos in, or some photos in here as well. These ones are screw in though, so just bear with me. But basically this would be mounted up against the trim panel of the door. There's a clip, a spring clip in here. You would slide in a tool like this behind the trim panel and pop that clip loose. These ones work very similar where you would slide in behind, you know, between the handle and the door trim panel, but these ones grab onto a clip. So here's a couple photos to show you what I'm talking about. So you can see how this style would be almost necessary to grab into that inset spring, whereas this style is would be better suited for the springs that have the, um, the, the wrap around and it sticks out rather than just in, inboard. All right, so these guys are nice, and if you're doing this kind of work all the time, sure, having something like this would be handy. But honestly, the few times that I've ever had to do it, it was before I acquired these tools, and I just used a small screwdriver or a pair of needle nose, some offset needle nose. Uh, there was a cool little hack I saw online while I was researching these guys. Uh, some people just take a rag, and they slide a rag in be behind it and kind of wiggle it and pull it, and it grabs the edges of that clip and pops the clip loose. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, that's what they're for. So congratulations again, uh, Rob Bacon, again, get with me. Before we move on to the sneak peek, don't forget, everybody, if you're, especially if uh, this is your first time checking out the channel, these two guys I'm keeping out here out in the open because we still haven't identified them 100%. This one's a hammer wrench from the early 1900s, 20s, 30s-ish. Uh, petroleum industry, but that's all I know about. I don't know a brand, I don't know uh, a model number, and I don't know specifically what it was used for. And this guy here is some sort of polar. There's no markings on it. I've done videos on both of them, but if you have an idea of what they are, please go ahead and throw something in the comments about it. All right, moving on to sneak peek for next week. So I got two variants of more or less the same tool. Here's this one. If you have any ideas on what these are, what they're used for, or how they're used, go ahead and throw that in the comments section. Kind of unique, very different. I, like this one, I actually had no clue when I first got it. Uh, and honestly, I haven't even used either one of these yet. So, All right, well, there you have it. If you got any suggestions for future tools, please throw that down in the comments. And don't forget, if you like this kind of stuff, please hit that like and subscribe button down below, and we'll see you next week.